The traditional use of creatine supplements for muscle and performance gains connects to aging in an important way. A growing body of evidence shows that as muscle strength declines, total death rates increase. So on average, human muscle mass it declines by about 1% per year from the age of 40. So therefore, to prevent muscle loss, we need to maximize our muscle strength in youth, maintain our muscle strength in middle age, and minimize the loss as we get older. And this is where the established benefits of creatine supplements are relevant. So one recent analysis of multiple studies concluded that creatine helps to increase muscle strength, muscle mass, and athletic performance when combined with exercise. Plus, we've got emerging evidence that creatine supplementation improves memory and supports cognitive performance. But there are some misconceptions about creatine and its side effect profile that hold people back. So you'll see the objection that muscle mass gains with creatine are just about absorbing more water. There's a grain of truth here. Studies have found that creatine supplementation can lead to increased water retention for some people when they first start taking it. Crucially though, a number of studies have shown that there does not appear to be any water retention over the long term. And the studies that we've looked at clearly show that using creatine with exercise promotes real muscle gains, and this is what ultimately accounts for the lean muscle mass increases. People also worry about hair loss, and this concern came from a 2009 study of rugby players, where creatine supplements appear to increase the levels of a hormone called DHT. DHT contributes to hair loss, but there's an important note that it was just DHT in the study. No study has ever found that creatine accelerates hair loss. Plus, there was some statistical trickery in that 2009 study. There was a small increase in DHT levels in the creatine group, but the placebo group, there was a small decrease in DHT. So combined, that explains the statistically significant result. Now, those results in the 2009 study have never been replicated. There have been five other studies that have looked at hormone levels, including DHT, and there have been no increases seen. So in summary, the current evidence does not indicate that creatine supplementation causes hair loss. So I want to put that concern to rest. There's no evidence that creatine causes hair loss. Overall, creatine is very safe. A statement from the International Society of Sports Nutrition summarized the weight of the evidence so far. Existing studies show that short and long-term supplementation with creatine is safe and well-tolerated in healthy individuals in a range of patient populations. So personally, I take creatine monohydrate five grams a day, but just because I take a supplement does not in any way mean that you should as well.